anyways, um, so I'm resting my voice for the children. I'm resting my voice for the children. Hi, Sheiksters. Hi, YouTube. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Today's video was going to be a try on video. So today's video is going to be a denim try on video. This is definitely denim season right now. Back to school's happening, fall is around the corner, everybody's looking for that perfect pair of jeans. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely a denim girl, but I've always had a love-hate relationship with jeans. Finding the right pair of jeans to fit your curves can be a struggle. If, you, if the hips fit, then the waist doesn't. You're constantly pulling up your jeans. Your jeans are constantly falling. You have to keep pulling up the loops. The loops pop out. You sit down, your jeans split in between your thighs. You already know all of the struggles when it's trying to find the perfect pair of jeans. Um, I did a similar video for this in the spring for shorts and I also did a denim try on last year um, around this time. But I took your feedback from that video. A lot of you wanted more affordable options. This video I'm going to try on jeans both affordable and high-end and tell you the pros and cons. So after you're done with this video, make sure to click the card and go onto the blog because I have even more options and more tips there for you. So, so if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi and this is my channel. And our goal here at Supple Chic TV is to help you style your life better. Please consider subscribing down below So if you're here and want to know which pairs of jeans are the best for your curves, then keep on watching. Okay, so first pair, still in the packaging, this is a pair of Charlotte Ruse jeans. Now, I went to a Charlotte Ruse event while I was in New York this summer, met up with one of my favorite blogger boos who happens to be um, working with Charlotte Ruse. She kept on raving about the Charlotte Ruse jeans. Charlotte, wow. She kept on raving about the Charlotte Ruse jeans and how great they were and how they fit really well and so on and so forth. So I had to pick up a pair for myself. Now this is the Charlotte Ruse skin tight legging and I got this in a 20. Okay, so just from looking at it, I hope I didn't size up I sized up to a 20, which even though I regularly wear an 18, because I remembered the only other pair of Charlotte Russe bottoms I had, I ended up having to size up. I hope I was not wrong. Since I have not tried this one on for you, I can't give you too much information like this. So I will definitely annotate across the screen if there's anything particular that you need to know. Um, it says it hugs tight, fits right for the girl on the go. Okay, and this is 57% cotton, 26% polyester, 14% rayon, and 3% lycra and spandex. Now, if you are a girl with curves, that lycra and spandex is bae, okay? Lycra and spandex means that you can size down, and I say that I say that cautiously, you can size down so that the jeans fit you around the waist, but there's still enough stretch in the fabric that it will stretch to accommodate your hips and butt. It is just a traditional skinny jean. It has a light, not light wash, but it's like a medium wash. It has pockets in the back um, and has real loops. It has no pockets in front, so it's a faux pocket. And it has a zipper and um, button closure. So the next item is going to be a pair of jeans from Fashion to Figure. I personally like Fashion to Figure jeans. Um, they fit right around the hips. They have some stretch to them. They're made of a medium weight fabric like the charlotte russe skin tight legging felt a little bit lighter weight um this is kind of like more in the middle um 
And this one comes with distressing around the knee, around the leg. It has like a lighter wash around the leg. It's skinny all the way to your ankles and you know has real pockets in front real pockets in the back and it has a decent amount of stretch so it's almost like a heavier weight version of the charlotte russe jeans now the reason why weight matters to me is that when you have a heavier weighted um, material you're less likely to get that thigh split that you get when you wear your favorite pair of jeans to death okay um, this, it says, let me see if I can see, this is 50% cotton, 19% polyester, 24% 20, 20 rayon, and 1% spandex. Um, I, honestly, it, to me, it stretches almost as much as the, uh, the Charlotte Ruse jeans. Now, I'm a little partial to these because they have my name on it. Um, the Fashion to Figure team um sent these to me so these jeans are not new now i have a bunch of new pairs and a bunch of a couple of older pairs and the reason why this matters is because i will let you know which pairs are old because if you were to go to the site and order their jeans now they may have changed formulation so i don't want you guys coming back to me and be like what you said these jeans were perfect they suck this is based on the pair that I have. So the next brand I recently found out about and I am so in love with their jeans. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I really like their jeans. And that is Talbots. And I know what you're thinking. Um, those of you who are around my age or younger, you probably think Talbots? But yes, okay. They have a denim campaign where they said they have every style for every shape, right? So they have skinny, straight, slim, and like boot cut, right? So if you fall within, if you, whatever you like, they have, and they have it by fit. They have their curve fit, which fits women with curves. So if you have wider hips, smaller waist, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay? So I got these jeans, which are the slim, I think these are the slim straights. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description down below. And I got it in the curve fit. And when I say, yo, that these are the best fitting jeans around my waist that I've ever had. Like these just whoop around my waist. Okay, they just stay on my waist. I don't have to pull them. I don't have to yank them. I don't have to deal with them sagging during the day. Like they stay on my waist. They stay on my waist and there is no gaping no gapping and they give your like they come into your way so if you got a little bit of a booty you know people know okay okay um so these are from Talbot it's the, I wouldn't call it a higher end jean but it's higher on the price point so these retail for around a hundred um and if you're in luck you can get them on sale but that's because they use quality fabrics okay and their fit is really good this is the slim ankle curve you see I got it right it was right here it says it right here slim ankle curvy in a 16w so for Talbots in their jeans I'm actually a 16 instead of like an 1820 when I usually shop at like the um, juniors plus size and the formulation of this is 60 66% cotton 30% 33% polyester and 1% spandex so I really like this because it doesn't have too much of a stretch to it but it does kind of loosen up a bit as you wear it so this to me fits more like that whole vintage straight mom jean that's what this is for me and i've been looking hunting wanting the mom jean style but that would accommodate my hips and my waist because most of the time those jeans used to be made out of like really stiff fabric with no stretch now i'm gonna be honest i've definitely started to st stray away from the whole skinny jean um i feel like if you look at um most of the denim brands that keep up with trends you will see a movement or shift towards the straight cut versus the skinny cut so the next item is going to be another higher end denim 
piece and it's going to be the Good American. I got this last year during the sale. Good Americans retail for over a hundred dollars. They're like 150, 160. I got them from around for around like 110, 120. Um, during the Nordstrom sale, that's the only time I would honestly buy these. And this one is a dark wash. Okay, it has real pockets in front, real pockets in the back, and this just flattens your stomach. I don't know what technology, what what witchcraft they put in these jeans, but these are the Good American Good Legs in a size 18. I'm gonna say right off the bat that I should have gotten these in a size 20. I have another pair of Good American, which I believe those were also Good Legs, in a lighter wash, and I had gotten those in an 18 and a 20, and the 18, on those fit a little bit looser, and so I opted for the 18. I'm gonna tell you right now, these good Americans do not stretch, okay? They don't stretch out, they don't loosen up, okay? No. So this is a good thing and a very bad thing if you're like me and you should have sized up. Um, and I'm really sad, I think I'm gonna have to let these go and I don't want to because I'm not sure you know, I'm gonna get what I paid for them. Like, I really only have worn these like twice, maybe once. I don't even know if it's been up to two times. I think I've worn these twice. Um, but yeah, so these are the Good American Good Legs. They are very skinny all the way to the bottom. They are a premium denim. And as I said, they really thought about shape and formulation and fit because these really slim you out in front. Um, they also come up higher in the back so you're not going to have all of that, you know, gaping and like your, you know, your butt crack being open. Um, they're a higher waist jean. So this is 48% tensile, 48.8% cotton, 6.2% T400, and 9% spandex. I have no clue what T400 is, but maybe that's what snatches you in, okay? It makes your stomach look flat. Maybe that's what it is. So, you know, if you want your stomach to be on flat, flat, um, if you have like that little mom pooch, but you know, overall your stomach is flat, these jeans will eliminate them for you. Yeah. So they have like standard pockets in front, they have same pockets in the back. They have the rivets and all the traditional denim um, accoutrements. And I also like that instead of just having one strap in the back, they have two straps in the back because how many of us have popped this back strap, okay? When you wear it and the jeans are trying to fall down and your belt is pulling with all its might trying to keep it up, what happens? Besides that, you can feel the quality, you can feel the difference. The next pair of jeans is a surprise favorite. I didn't know I was gonna love these as much as I did. I have like a love-hate relationship with them and they are from the Universal Thread for Target line. Um, these jeans are actually on clearance. So I found they had these online and then they sold out online but you can definitely try and find these in store but anyways I thought I had missed it online and then I was just walking by the clearance section at my local Target and I, knew, I spotted them I knew them I was like <gasps> are those them come home with me so yeah these are the relax these are the um, universal thread straight okay it says it's partially made with recycled cotton. This fabric is made with 10% cotton from recycled fibers. I got this in the 18W. I tried both the 18 like regular and 18W and the W definitely fit me better. It had more room around the hips and butt and i.e. stomach area. So the biggest con with these jeans and the reason why I wanted to get a size down, I wanted to get these in the 16 as well, is that they stretch out like a mm 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 mm. Okay, they stretch out. All right, got these in the 18. When you first put them on at the 18, I thought they were too snug. Within an hour, they fit perfectly, and um, that is the only issue I have with these jeans. I love the way I love the fabric they're made out of. So the weight of this, I love 
the rise of these. I love the shape through the leg. I love the length of these. But the only pet peeve I have is with the wash. I'm not a fan of the whiskering and how they do the whiskering around this top area. And that's really to me what differentiates higher end denim and lower end denim. They really, really, really pay attention to the details, the wash, you know, the straight look, it has like a vintage sort of like old school element to it. So having the right wash is just, it just, it just takes the denim up a notch. They tried to get it right with this one. I feel like they almost made it, but not quite. Um, this has pockets in front pockets in the back like so um standard loops and whatnot and these are made out of can i find out so these are made out of 98 percent cotton and two percent lycra that makes a lot of sense because i like that feel and that weight of real cotton but that two percent um Lycra definitely I think is what makes it stretch out after a while um, But once you wash these and dry these they do kind of like snatch back in I feel like for an affordable pair these were definitely a great 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 shop so The okay. next pair is another new purchase and this is from Forever 21 so for a long time my favorite places to buy jeans were Forever 21 and Old Navy those were my old you know OG places if you're looking for affordable mid price affordable jeans forever 21 and Old Navy to me are my go-to um, because with Old Navy you definitely get quality with forever 21 you get budget and a decent pair of jeans it's, they're not their jeans aren't horrible um, you just have to for Old Navy the key is to wait for a sale which they have almost every other weekend 40% off sales are Often happen often, but we're talking about Forever 21, so I digress. These jeans were like part of their jean promotion, and they were like 12, 11, 13, around that range, super affordable. These are the Love Your Butt Tie Rice Skinny. Ooh, well, I hope these were the ones. Now I don't know if these were the ones. I'm confused. Anyway, these are the Love Your Butt Perfect Curvy Fit Butt Lifting Great Stretch. Okay, this is a lighter wash. Um, but it's like, I would say this is like a mid wash. Now I'm not thinking these were 13. I'm, these might have been a little bit more expensive. They had like a rose gold piece of hardware. These are a US 18. These are 68% cotton, 26% polyester, 4% other fibers, 4% other fibers, 2% <laughs> spy spandex. Forever 21, what you mean by other fibers? Okay, what does that mean? This pair is pretty stretchy. It's definitely a skinny jean, but it does have real pockets both back and front, which is good because you know sometimes they like to skimp on those pockets when you buy an affordable pair of jeans. It is a mid wash, and I have not tried these on, so you guys will look at the screen to see if there's anything particular to note about these. These are definitely Forever 21 jeans, as much as I love them, as much as they're big, I have had Forever 21 jeans to split around the thigh. The trick is to buy enough of them so you don't wear them that much so you don't have to deal with that. The next pair of jeans, I guess it's gonna be more on the higher end section as well. These are some slink jeans. I know you can get these at like Nordstrom and places like that. This is made out of 94% cotton, 4% polyester, and 2% spandex. And like I said, what I've noticed with the more higher end pairs of jeans is that they're made out of mostly cotton, which is why I was giving the Target jeans a lot of kudos. Um, and another thing that I noticed that was a nice added touch is if you look at the back of these jeans, you can see this belt loop is super thick. This is like super thick and this is the one in the center in the back it's these little tiny details that kind of d differentiate the different price point it says love your body in these so these jeans are body positive okay they love your curves um and this is just like a standard 
crop type skinny pair. It has some distressing here, some fraying at the bottom. This has a really good stretch. If you guys can see, they're higher up in the back, okay, and lower in the front. And this would definitely help with the whole Sat, you know, gaping in the butt area. And, and then the last pair of jeans, I can't hold up to you guys because I'm wearing them. And they are a pair from Old Navy. As I said, Old Navy is my go-to place, or I won't say it's my go-to place anymore. It was my go-to place to buy jeans. As I said, we're moving away from the skinny jean, you know, and close and more towards the straight jean. And Old Navy now has a lot of straight cuts on their site. So they do try to keep up with the trends. They are really affordable. And for the most part, their jeans are good quality for the price you're paying. I am wearing their, God, I don't know if these are the power jean or the perfect straight. I will have it annotated below. So, um, these ones have a little bit of fraying at the end, but they are a dark wash. The first thing I know about these jeans is they're pretty lightweight. I don't know if they're like a summer jean because I bought these in the summertime, if that's why the formulation is so light, um, but it is very light. As I was pulling it on, putting it on, you know, it tends to, to like, I guess slide down is the best word. And I was end up pulling it up, so it's not a perfect fit for my waist. And when I was pulling it up, I could almost feel like the, the belt loop kind of starting to like loosen and like rip. So that lets me know that the, the they, I think the thought behind these jeans are good because they're really nice dark wash. They're also kind of thin, so I feel like that is where the problem is and they're also more of like a cotton which means they have they don't have as much stretch to them I, I wish the jean had a little bit more substance to it because then you won't run the risk of pulling off the belt loop when you try to pull the jeans on your butt um but overall again I love the cut I love I love the cut it's the cut I like and the color I felt like they really nailed that indigo color um and they're good jeans because i can wear them to work because they're a dark wash through and through and so they to me overall out of all the jean brands i've shared out of all of you know the styles i've shared i would definitely say old navy is definitely still one of my top brands for jeans i would say good american for on the high on the opposite spectrum is still really really great and honestly a lot of these higher end jean brands like page and mother and these citizens of humanity they don't typically carry plus you know so it's nice for a higher end jean brand to have a size and option for me so guys if you know how many interruptions we've had in this video, battery died, um, ran out of SD card space, temperature too hot, so many interruptions. I'm so glad we've made it to the end. This is the end of the video. Let's continue our conversation down below. I would love you to list your top three denim brands down below. If you're curvier, if you're straighter, let us know in the comments below because that is where we can help each other. We, if you have like a really good, affordable denim brand that you love, okay, share it. Let's share information. Um, and if you like this video, share it with a friend because friends don't let friends miss important things. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,